cheeks the lower back and then bring the soles of the feet together and then draw those heels in towards the pubic bone it doesn't matter how close the heels are to the body so the feet can be all the way out here that's fine as long as you're finding that that first point of resistance that first point of stretch within your hips um, so when you found that take a minute and relax the knees down if it feels quite painful, you can support the knees with cushions. Um, okay, so once you've found your comfortable position here, we're going to exhale and come all the way down, whether that's onto your bolster or lying on the floor. We're going to set our timer for two minutes. So let's take a nice big deep inhale into the belly. And exhale, relax the belly. Let's repeat that twice more. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. your attention to the soles of the feet. Feel the toes touch, the balls of the left toes touch, the heels are connected. Feel the weight of the knees opening the hips. Feel the thighs heavy and relaxed. And inhale, breathe deeply into the hips. And exhale, let go of any tension. Inhale, breathe deeply. And exhale, let go. Let the hands relax. The arms are heavy, the shoulders are relaxed. Feel the weight of the head on the mat. Not two minutes, here is up. So, you can roll over onto your right side or your left. Whichever feels good for you. And you can just pause there for a minute. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale. And then slowly and carefully coming back up to a seated position. We can get rid of that bolster now. Or actually keep that bolster with you because we can use it in the next pose. So we're just going to do a nice gentle forward fold now. It's a very passive forward fold. I know sometimes when we're in a forward fold, we have those legs really tense and we can really be pushing ourselves. But we want to be nice and relaxed here. Again, you can sit on a block or a cushion, whatever makes this feel easier for you. So, and if you have cushions or a bolster, you can always place them on top of the legs because we're just going to very gently fold forward. So whatever feels good for you, find that first point of resistance, relax the legs, and we'll do it together now. So inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, walk the hands forward, come into a gentle forward fold. Relax the backs of the legs. Relax 
works the feet. Let the head become heavy. If you want to walk forward a little, do so. And now for the next minute and a half, we're just going to stay nice and still. Breathing deeply into any stretch that we feel. As you inhale, have a sense that you are expanding. And as you exhale, allow your body to just melt a little bit deeper. Keep the breath nice and deep. And try and bring the attention back to the breath if the mind wanders. It's a great way to focus and calm the mind when you bring the attention to the breath and allow all of the thoughts to fade away gently, slowly, in your own time. Start to roll back up, just one vertebra at a time. No rush. I'm going to interlace the fingertips. Inhale, reach those hands up overhead just to re energize the body briefly. Inhale, reach up. that two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take the hands down. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, release those hands down. Lovely. I'm going to take a simple twist here. We're going to hold for two minutes on each side. So, come to lying down. And just take your hips to the left. Bring the knees together. Then inhale, bring the knees in towards the chest. As you exhale and allow the knees to fall to the right, Extend that right hand, extend the left hand. Option to place the right hand on the knees. And exhale, try and draw that left shoulder down towards the mat. Staying here and breathing. You can take your gaze towards the left hand. You can take your gaze to the ceiling or you can very simply close the eyes. As you inhale, expand the chest and as you exhale, draw that left shoulder down gently. Take your attention inward. Observe any sensations in the body. And just let them go. Keep the mind present and here on the mind. And that's 
our two minutes, so gently relax that right hand back down, slowly come back to centre. This time, take the hips to the right, bring those knees together, draw them into the chest. And then exhale, take the knees over to the left. Option to place that left hand on the knee. Extend that right hand away from you. And exhale, draw that right shoulder down. Breathing deeply. Allow the breath to soothe you. And yoga is great to do before you go to sleep. If you're feeling stressed, frustrated, angry, any of those negative emotions, especially if we keep our mental focus on the breath, on the body, on the inhale, and the exhale. It's also a wonderful way to create flexibility and length in the body. You can't force stretch, it comes with time. Flexibility comes with patience and practice. Take a last big deep inhale and exhale. Gently bring those knees to centre, take your body to the middle of the mat. Clasp the knees and just take a gentle rock from side to side. And exhale, take the right leg down, take the left leg down. Allow the feet to be hip distance apart and just let them fall naturally outwards. Palms are faced up. If you want to grab any supports, a pillow for the head or a blanket, do so. And when you're ready, take a nice big deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, and again, inhale, exhale, allow the feet to become heavy, the right legs relaxed, the left legs relaxed, hips are grounded, inhale, breathe deeply into the belly. Exhale, relax the belly. Inhale, breathe deeply into the lower back. Relax the lower back. Inhale, breathe deeply into the chest. Relax the chest, the shoulders, the arms, the hands. Inhale deeply. Exhale, relax the neck, let the head be heavy, eyes are soft, cheeks are soft, jaws relax. Inhale deeply, and exhale, the entire body is relaxed now. Staying here for as long as you like in Shavasana. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste. Mm -hmm.